Hello everybody, this is William Amzalag and I want to welcome you in our seventh episode of Jeunesse Longevity TV. Jeunesse, we are redefining youth. Between humans is starting by the fusion between the female ovule and the male spermatozoid. It takes millions of spermatozoids to select the lucky one to win the right of joining the female ovule. And guess what? Hello everybody. This is William Amzalag and I want to welcome you in our seventh episode of Jeunesse Longevity TV. Jeunesse, we are redefining youth. Have you heard about stem cells? I'm sure. Meanwhile, I wish to share with you my knowledge about stem cells, how magic they are, and how they are changing the medical world. To understand what are stem cells, let's go back to life. How life is starting. Life between humans is starting by the fusion between the female ovule and the male spermatozoid. It takes millions of spermatozoids to select the lucky one to win the right of joining the female ovule. And guess what? When they join, they form the first embryonic stem cell. With this cell, life started. This cell has a tremendous power. It will duplicate in two cells, one identical to the original and one going to form the first embryonic tissue. A tissue is a group of identical cells. After several days and several cells division, the three major embryonic tissue are ready to work. Each one is responsible for creating family of adult stem cells, which are going to form specialized cells as brain cells, cardiac cells, or muscle cells. The big difference between embryonic and adult stem cells is that the embryonic has unlimited power of giving birth to any specialized cells, while the adult ones can induce only the one which are part of the tissue where they originated from. The use of embryonic stem cells is regulated by health authority for two reasons. The first one is that in order to get embryonic stem cells, we have to use embryos. And this is creating a debate and criticism. This reason, by the way, is no longer accurate because Japanese scientists find a way to generate embryonic stem cells from adult skin cells, resolving the ethical debate. The second reason is that embryonic stem cells are so powerful that it may be possible with them to clone human cells and that create a huge debate. But let's come back to life. After nine months, the baby born, with more than 200 different specialized cells family, produced by stem cells. It is not finished because nature is always anticipating. Anticipating what? Shortage. During life, shortage of specialized cells which die or do not replicate. 
we need a solution and stem cells are the solution. Nature has provided storage in all parts of our body to store stem cells, especially in the bone marrow, in the skin, and guess what? In the abdominal fat. This is now that the story become really exciting. How or what if we can extract those stem cells and use them for treating diseases? Do you know that has been done many, many deca decades ago? It's called bone marrow transplant, which is in fact a stem cells transplant. This protocol is used for patients with severe leukemia, in which we start by eradicating cells from the bone marrow, leaving the patient with no defense, no immune cells, and this is why he is confined in a sterile environment. Once done, we are looking for the proper donor, which has similar genes, in order to avoid transplant rejection and the donor stem cells are injected to replace the cancer swab. This protocol has two major issues. One is to find the proper donor, and the second one is to avoid tissue rejection using aggressive immunosuppressing agent. Today, the use of stem cells has almost revolutionized medicine, creating a new discipline called regenerative medicine. The goal is to find the proper stem cells which will be injected in specific area to become the specialized cells we want. Regenerative medicine is the future of medicine. Every function, every organ will be the target of stem cell therapy. It has already started with sport medicine where athletes used their own stem cells to treat joint problem, especially cartilage dysfunction. Some professional athletes will be in the market several years more than usual, thanks to regular injection of stem cells in their joint. Cardiac transplant will be reduced thanks to the use of stem cells in the heart. Israeli scientists have successfully treated some blindness with stem cells. Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and even autism are under stem cell trial today. Diabetes type 2 and very soon diabetes type 1 will be successfully treated with stem cells. Knee and other joint prosthesis will not be anymore used. What about skin? Treating burns with stem cells transplant is a big success today. So where Jeunesse is standing with the stem cell revolution? We will see in our next episode how we are using the stem cells thanks to the work of Dr. Nathan Newman. My name is William Amzalag and I am Generation Young. See you in our next episode. Janess, we are redefining youth.